Hi, today I'm looking at the A-Team by Ed Sheeran. So the first thing we have to do is put a cap on second fret. So your notes will sound like this. And there's a reasonably simple set of chords in this song, but there's quite a few sections to it. So there's an intro, a verse, bridge, pre-chorus, chorus, chorus uh, middle eight. So there's quite a few sections, but they all use similar chords. Uh, and the the thing that most people struggle with with this song is the the right hand, the the strumming pattern. So I just want to have a look at that first. So for the purpose of demonstrating, it, I'm just going to use a G chord. It's a four finger G like this. You probably already know. Right now, there's there's two ways you can do this. One is 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 more what I think he's doing on the original song, and then the other one is. It's more how he sort of seems to do it live. They're very similar. So the first way to try, and to try both of these, see which one works for you. First way is to have your thumb playing constantly down up. So it's one and two and three and four and like this. And then on the two and the four, use your first finger to play downwards, which will be a louder strum like this. That's one and two and three and four and and at the same time you have to palm mute slightly which is just resting the edge of your hand right where the strings go over the saddle like this it sounds like this and that's one way that's more how i think it is on the original the other way is to use your first finger to go do the constant thing still palm muting, but use your thumb to accent the kind of bass notes like this. So it's actually the thumb accenting the one and the three. So what we did before was this finger accenting the two and the four. Now we're accenting the one and the three with this as so one and two and three and four. And you can sort of combine those so that the two accents come through together like this. Now that's how I would play it myself. As I feel more comfortable doing that than I do with the constant moving thumb thing. But anyway, try both, see what works for you. This strum or either strum will work for the whole song. Right now let's have a look at the actual chords that are involved. So the chords in this song are the G that I mentioned before with the four fingers. There's D over F sharp, which is a normal D chord. Put the thumb playing the F sharp. It's not really an F sharp because of the capo. I mean, that's not really a D either, but I'm just gonna call it a D because that's what it looks like. So D over F sharp. Now in, in live versions of this, he doesn't use that one. He tends to use another chord, which is also in the original song later on, which is called D sus four over F sharp is like that. And Ed Sheeran nearly always uses this chord instead of this one when, when you see him playing live. So it's like this, it's only one note difference. So we've got these two here where they were for the G. Second finger on the third string, second fret. First finger on the E string, second fret. Uh, by the way, with, when we're using the capo, I'm, I'm referring to this as second fret because it's counting from the capo. So that's D sus4 over F sharp, and then there's D over F sharp. And then we've got E minor, normal E minor, C. Uh, there's a C add nine later in the song, which is a variation on C, which looks like this. It's just like the G, but with these two fingers moved down. There's an E minor seven, which is E minor, but with these two fingers still there. A minor seven, the one that he uses in this song, is like an A minor without that finger and with the little finger added there. Sounds like this. That's all of the chords that are in the song. Right, so the intro and the verse are the same. So we'll have a look at the, uh, the verse and it, it will cover what happens in the intro anyway, because it's the same sequence. So we've got to play G, D or F sharp, or if you prefer, D sus4 over F sharp, E minor, C, G. And the timing's a bit odd. 
you play one complete bar of G, so that's four beats. The next bar is three beats of G and one beat of D over F sharp. And the next bar is three beats of E minor, one beat of C, and the last bar is four beats of G. So I won't do the strum, I'll just play the beats so that you can hear how many beats you're on each chord for. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if I do that with the strum, something like this. So you can hear it sounds like the song once you put that strum to it. So that's the verse and the intro sequence. Um, a tiny thing to mention is that on verse two, on the original recording, this, this repeated sequence for the verse, the first time, only on verse two, when it gets to the bar of G at the end, it does a one beat of D over, or D sus four over F sharp just at the end. So verse two sounds like this. So you notice on that first time, I, I did a quick D sus4 over F sharp. The second time I didn't. Verse one doesn't do that. So the pre-chorus is A minor seven, which was the one I mentioned earlier, like this. And then C, and all we do for C, because we want to leave this little finger on, which is how some people play C in songs. Still just called C. All we have to do is add one finger from the A minor seven. So it's. And then we've got a G chord. Now this time it's a three note or three finger G chord. So rather than being this one, it's the one that you may have learned as your, your first G chord. Uh, but the easiest way to play it, and this is how Ed Sheeran does it live, is use these fingers. Because if you've just come from here, it's quite an easy change. You lift that finger off and those both just hop across like that. It's often used, that, that C chord and that G chord are often used together in songs. So we've got A minor seven, C, G played like that, and then D over F sharp, which was that one we did earlier. And these are just a bar each. And it's played twice, I'll just demonstrate that. Same strum. So that's the pre chorus. Okay, so the chorus for this song, pretty easy. We've got E minor for two beats, C for two beats, just a normal C now. G, the three finger one again, so you might choose to do it like that because it's following the C. Uh, that's for four beats. So it's E minor twice, C twice, G for four. And we play that three times. Uh, and then there's a fourth time where the only difference is instead of G for four beats, a whole bar is G for two beats, D sus4 over F sharp for two beats. That's that one we played earlier. So if I just uh, demonstrate that whole chorus, it's this.
then we've got the bridge, which is a little section that just comes after the chorus before the next verse. And the bridge is E minor 7, which is with these two fingers here. By the way, for the bridge, the whole bridge, these two fingers stay here on the, the third fret, first two strings. So E minor 7, two beats. C add 9 for two beats. I mentioned that chord earlier. That's like that. So it just looks like the G, but these have moved across. And then G for four beats, which is that, the four finger G. So we're just keeping those two there. So I'll just demonstrate the bridge. Play this twice. Okay, and then the verse, uh, the pre chorus, and the chorus are repeated. Same as before, except for remember that little extra chord that's thrown into the second verse that I demonstrated earlier. But other than that, it's exactly the same. Um, and these are little details, you know, that it's only if you want to play exactly like the original song that you need to put those sort of things in. He doesn't live mostly. Uh, okay, so then we've got the middle eight. Right, the middle eight, we have a normal A minor chord, C add nine that we've played before, E minor seven we've played before with the, the two fingers there, the G, the four finger G, A minor seven again, C add nine. These are a bar each, so I'm just going to play the middle eight for you. <laughs> And that goes straight into the little sort of mini guitar solo. Really nice little solo, um, electric guitar solo, but, but very simple, short solo. And that's, the solo is just over the bridge. So if you remember, the bridge was E minor seven, C add nine, G, twice. That's the same for the solo. And that's all of the parts to the song, really, because what happens next is a, a repeat of the pre-chorus, a repeat of the chorus, and then the bridge, two repeats of the bridge. So one bridge is the sequence played twice. So two bridges is four times. And so it, it ends just on a bridge. So the very last sequence would be this. And he just does a single strum on the G. So I'll play the last bridge. That's the whole song. So the chords are pretty easy. The right hand is the thing to really work on. Um, and I think if you're playing it how I was just, just then in the demonstrations, using the thumb to sort of get the bass notes and then mostly the first finger to, to do the constant one and two and three and four and. Um, when you do the accents on the two and the four with this finger, what you can also do is really kind of land on the guitar quite hard there like this so I'm sort of lifting my hand off and landing right on the bridge it's kind of like a Neil Young style of playing Ed Sheeran does it a lot you almost get a slap as your finger hits the strings and your hand lands there and that can be quite effective a bit more percussive there's, there's no drums or anything in this song so you listen to the song again the original there's quite a lot of rhythm to it, but it's all coming from that acoustic guitar. And the electric guitar is doing the, the more sort of picky sort of things on the top. So it's a nice one to play. Um, any questions, please put them in the comments. And uh, yeah, suggest other songs. Could be more Ed Sheeran songs or anything else you want to see lesson videos on. And I'll do my best. Okay, thanks. Bye.